So this is going to be a quick demonstration of using a 3060 square to draw a simple isometric shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my rule up and let's begin by drawing a 30 degree line that way and then we'll spin our square over and let's go for a 30 degree line the opposite direction. We'll use the square side of our square to draw some lines vertically. And again, as I'm drawing these, these lines are very faint. I'm not pushing too hard with the pencil at all um, because I will be rubbing out any extra bits of the line. I'm going to position my square as required. Now the temptation there would be to draw that line and then try and guess where this line was over here, but you can't do that until you flip your square over and draw that line in. And what I can do is I can come up here and I can draw this line in. And spin our square over. And there we go, we have, we have a simple um, cube, cuboid. Now, we can add further features to this, again, using the perspective of the isometric view. So let's say I want to draw a square hole on this side. All I need to do is I can use the square again. Let's draw in the simple feature. Now I'm drawing this without any dimensions on, just to um, sort of show off how the square can be used. Obviously, if this was something to scale, you would need to take your measurements and you need to measure how long each line was going to be. But you can see here, simply by flipping the square over a few times, you can produce quite complicated objects. So great, so that's a, that's a hole, we can't see the end of it. If we did want to see the end of it, we could uh, do something similar over here, let's say. So it's going to be a little, quite a shallow section this one. Then we'll just produce a small line there and then we'll continue to use our angles as we have previously. Again, don't be afraid for the lines to overlap a little bit because you can always remove the unnecessary portions afterwards. So there we go, I've created a fairly basic 3D shape. 